It's one of the West Country's most famous high street names. But it would appear the writing is on the wall for Debenhams, another victim of our quickly changing times. It's been here all of my life, so it, it would be such a shame for it not to be there, not to be supporting our community, really. Sickened, absolutely sickened. Yes, because it's, it's a big point of, of Plymouth. We need it. I think it's really sad because um, I actually worked in the cafe uh, 12 years ago, so um, I know what it's like working there and it's, it's a really nice place to work in. Our local stores are due to reopen when lockdown ends tomorrow, but it's not clear how much longer they can survive. It's a devastating blow to the high street and in particular for those, um, all those workers in that city centre store. The intervention of online technology and mobile phones and the move to online shopping has made it very difficult for those traditional bricks and mortar operators to um, su survive and, and thrive. So uh, with the City Council and with other partners, we've been working for a few years now on trying to diversify in the city centre so that it's not just about retail, it's much more about leisure and the gathering place. This was the opening of Exeter's branch of Debenhams in 2007. Not all that long ago, but it already seems like a bygone age. Shopping won't look or feel like this again for quite some time. We're investing in the city centre as a city council with new leisure facilities and a new bus station. So we're confident in the city, but we recognise over the next few years things are going to change and there's going to be challenges for retail particularly. But we've got, we've got a strong hospitality sector, we've got a strong independent sector and great brands that have got a presence in the city. So I'm confident that Exeter will pull through. This strange and turbulent year has claimed many businesses across our region, but this one could be the biggest yet. Sam Blackledge, ITV News.